Season seven, race two, Prospects E Racing League. We are in a much improved circuit this week, an actual racer circuit. MotoGP raced here last weekend. We are at Silverstone, and we have seen not only great racing in this series in uh, recent history, but also just an F1 in recent history. Track is a racer's track. Looking much uh, forward to the competition we got, and we got Zippo with me today. What is going on? How you doing, mate? Thanks for uh, joining me again this evening. And uh, how we doing, guys? Hope we're good. Yeah, as you was, can't um, touch more on what you just said there. Brilliant circuit, uh, home Grand Prix for myself, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely one of the best tracks on the calendar. I'm not just saying that because I'm British, but for racing and and things like that, I think it's one of the best tracks on the calendar. It's always one that I don't really think about until I actually see racing or I actually race on the circuit. It's like, well, I'd rather do Spa or Mons or like, you know, those are, you know, goats. And it's just like, oh, Silverstone is what it is. But then you're like, you get there and you get on the track. And you're like, okay. All right. It's one of those and tracks. It uh, just brings like that aura to you, doesn't it? Like when you're there to look at, it doesn't seem much, but when you're racing it, it's, it's, it's a, a very nice track. But say you've just touched on two of the other very, very good tracks as well. Spa, I absolutely adore. One of the best, my my favorite, favorite track. Um, Which is where Formula One comes back to once they get off a summer break and we don't know who's going to be doing what in that actual sport coming into the year. But we do know that today we got the likes of Patty, Pat, Folksy, Sam Brooks, Jonesy, Pigman Man, Shana Mack, Wealthy, Chappers, and more. Tier 2, PlayStation, Slay Station. We are ready to go quali in the light of day. Yeah, definitely. Um, they were saying that they hope it doesn't rain, and then Patty was just like, yeah, it's, it's I'm racing, it's going to rain. Of course it's going to rain. Um, can't be any worse than last week, though, can it? Around that horrible, horrible street circuit of Baku and uh, the safety car fest, as we called it last week. Last week never happened. This will, it never happened. We should actually just trigger from the points, to be honest with you, and run another race at the end of the season to determine the championship and actual Super Bowl because Baku was so bad. We'll move on for that. Never happened. Because, again, we're at a real circuit. We've got Para and Fultzy on the track. Shane O'Mac coming out as well. I was just checking. I thought I had the uh, <laughs> I thought I had the sound glitch just then, but I don't, thank God. Yeah, it seems like there are more bugs. We've also eliminated, I believe we have eliminated... Um, the formation lap. Piece laps. Formation laps, yeah, because yeah. it's caused more harm than good. So. Well, there's a new bug now, isn't there, that the host, if you're a driver and you're the... So, if you're a, if you're the spectator and you host the formation lap bugs, um, if you're a driver and you're the host, uh, even with a formation lap, um, it gets to the stage where the, the actual host... Um, oh, and talking of just pair of spins, um, the host has perfect temperature tyres, everybody else has uh, very cold tyres. Yeah, the way programming works, you're going to change one thing, uh, you get double the mouth, and it breaks on the other end. It, um, I don't know if we, it's just, you wonder if it's worse than last year at this point, so it can't take away of how enjoyable the game has been. As a whole, we're still improvements because we're seeing the way there's more bugs. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a shame that there is so many bugs because the game, in comparison to previous games, I think is a, is a huge improvement. Um, but just the bugs are just, um, are just more and more depressing. Than, they're just tedious little bugs that have been here for a little while now and they should, you know, they should be in the game anymore, in my opinion. But, you know, who knows? We're not, we're not coders, apparently master, and the masters of coding are as code masters, they're the masters, so they should know what they're doing, but uh, yeah, it just doesn't seem like they can do it. I'd like to see someone else get hold of the game and see what they can do with it. I mean, I know the age has come in, um, but I'd like to see someone else get hold of the game and you know, really see what they can do with it. The EA coming in is more research, you can actually be honest with you, it's just a, a, you know, it's just a budget thing, but it looks like FIFA anyway, doesn't it? Yeah, the FIFA is definitely more typical sound, to be honest with you. But not talking dirt about them. I'm stuck some pistols with Silverstone. Our most recent winner was Carlos Sainz at the circuit. And what was a, uh, an entertaining race. It was 
strange. <laughs> but signs one present of it. Uh, second, and it's in the boys. Third, with the fastest lap is up in the first race to be step back up. Still has no chance to even sniff a championship this year. Anyways, Hamilton does have so the Jim Clark, the greatest driver of all time, fifth, Alan Pross, or uh, fifth, the top five. Alan Pross also tied with five, I don't know, so that's four. Jack Brabham, Mickey Lauda, Michael Schumacher have three. Trey Schumacher only has three. Um, and Miguel Alba, two. Great Alberto Viscari, uh, Corlin Gonzalez, Sterling Moss, great uh, Jackie Stewart. Strange that Stewart only has two wins in uh, Silverstone. And Paul Lee. Jacques Villeneuve, David Coulthard, Alonzo, Vettel, and Mark Webber. 17 Constructors wins here, 14 uh, for Ferrari. 14 for McLaren, 10 for Williams, 9 for Merck, 8 for Lotus, 3 for Bull, 2 for a bunch of other small teams. Anyways, real quick recap there. Uh, we got some tops here. Just Perra is going to sit the early benchmark, 128, 298. I'm thinking we're going to see about a second chopped off of that, possibly around right at 127 for the full. Yeah, I mean, uh, just Perez setting a very nice good pace there, uh, strong pace early on, uh, patting back into second as you can sit there. Uh, first on a lap at the moment, Chappers is on an out lap, so we've just got an Alfa Tauri, uh, just gone over there. Uh, Pikmin Man came into third place at the moment. Uh, Guitar Man Khan, I think that is going around the final corner now. Yeah, he goes into second place there. Six, four, David into, that, into P4. He's hoping to last longer than a lap tonight, or a corner, should we say, as uh, X Coop comes. No, sorry, that is Chappers coming on to start his lap with McLaren. Oh, Cliff, Cliff Burton. Burton. Yeah, he's going to Burton 91. Yeah, Google uh, Chrome McLaren. Oh, Google way back. Chrome McLaren. Yeah, because the wheels have the, uh, the Google Oh, wheel. yes. Okay, I like that. It's neat. I like that. I mean, you can't see it unless it's sitting in pit lane, but yeah, I mean. I like that. I like that. That's brilliant. Look, Khan, second. And then, uh, who was that? Somebody got pushed him in. It was Guelphie. Oh, Burton's round. That was a very nice uh, Verstappen esque save. Splendy is out. Uh, Splendy joined late, uh, so it won't set up on the time. Can move on to the out lap. Got a couple guys come in. Let's take a second to cross that line. Is this that big man man? Yes. Is he gonna go in the pits or is he gonna keep going? He did pits. Uh, Teammate uh, Leclerc. Strange to see that. That was teammate. What was that? Doesn't matter, they're coming in the pits. Yeah, Luke uh, on a lap at the moment. He invalidated his first lap. He has gone purple in sector one. Um, I'm not sure if that's just the, the sector glitches that we've had for the last three games or if it actually is a purple first sector. Um, I get excited quite often when I'm racing because I think he's just about it. Because uh, I think I'm going purple, purple, purple and up like 17. And a blue coming through, is that Luke? Nope. No, that's Guilfi, I think, or Guitar Man Khan. It's one of the. Uh, it's Guitar Man Khan, he's just crossed the line. Um, he was on a. Recharge laps, if he's going for a this lap actually, so just don't pull the kid in the street. Oh, I'm going to get the guys back across, and his teammates staying out. Yes, the uh, first sector one of this track is very tricky. Um, yeah, the first couple the first couple corners are fast, but you can take them for granted and end up off in this one off area. And Con is purple through sector one. Uh, but yeah, those chicanes through there. Are very very tight. There's a lot of pumping. That's where you lose a lot of time, and then you get the long straight, and then just get another chicane a sweeper. That is also a place where you can lose a lot of time. But it's where there's places where you can lose a lot of time on this track, where you got to be perfect. You can be fast if you're perfect every time. But there's also sections where people take it for granted and end up off the track. Definitely. Um, still on board with uh, Guitar Man Khan. Currently coming through Stowe, isn't it? 
I get I get cops and stone mixed up, so I got into the pit. I get cops and stone mixed up so bad. Um, I can't leave place unless like this. What is your time to shine? Uh, I still don't know any names of corners any of these tracks. So I'm just trying to think. Where was it that Max and Louis crashed? They crashed at cops corner, didn't they? It was uh, Secret Two. The, the yeah, so there, Cox, Secret so it was uh, just before Magnus and Beckett. So I don't even know what you're saying right now. So. If you go on board with the McLaren of C. Burton, or was it Jonesy? That was the corner of the thing. Okay, right? so yeah, Jonesy said it would come into Maggots and then Beckett's now. This is Maggots, then we've got Beckett's. That's just Perez retired from the session. Uh, he's crashed down uh, the Hangar Straight, actually. This is the Hangar Straight right now, because obviously back in, in the war days, this used to be the, uh, where all the hangars were for the, for the war planes. There is. There's a game, I don't know if it's Project Cars, one of the games has an old track layout on it. Cool yeah, the, the old track layout is amazing, amazing. but they got under the bridge and everything, yeah. Yeah, it's incredible. Old Senna days, absolutely fantastic. Jonesy goes the fourth fastest. Uh, right, fellow Red Bull driver, how you doing, Maundy? Um, I've got a bit of stream chat here. Uh, just Coconuts, hi mate, how you doing? Uh, Zippy, how you doing? Uh, just a little study for tomorrow, how you doing? Uh, Plofsky, Team David, how you doing? Uh, team Chan. Right, so, uh, Max, yeah, that's it. Lewis and Max was Cops. Uh, Cops is the old term one, correct, yeah, because you've got the old pit straight there. So, did, obviously, you know about the old, the old pit lane and everything, but F2 still use it now, yeah? Did not, did not have F2 still use it. Yeah, so F2 still use the old pit lane now for the feature races. So obviously, this used to be the pit, this used to be the grid here where we are now, uh, on board with uh, Jonesy. Um, so this is coming to Cops, there it is, yeah, then it's Stowe. So this is Cops. Now then it goes into Maggots and Beckett's. As uh, Jonesy drops it actually on the around. exit. Yeah. Um, I mean, being British, I should really know the... Uh, you know, I, sh I should really know. I don't. I'm useless with track corners. Uh, on board with Foxy now though, he's, in he's invalidated. So Dylan uh, in the pit lane. Chappers, you're on a lap coming down as well. Yep. Chappers, fellow comms guy. Right Great behind Chappers is Bevel. Yes, and uh, right yes. behind indeed. He actually might get a good time off of this simply because of the time. Yeah, there's a word he's at. Let's see what these two have here. If they could. Uh, Para is Bevo, Bevo, Devo is uh, teammate. And did wreck out. Did have pull so far by almost half a second. What's Bevo got right now, though? That's the question. Chapper's first across, 12th. Bevo, 5th. 5th fastest, yeah. I mean, just Para crashing um, on the straight, but I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy that uh, he's crashed, but he's still, as you just said, almost half a second ahead of the rest of the grid. Uh, Luke on a lap at the moment going through Maggots and Beckett's at the moment. i would be interested to see whether he can, because he's getting a very nice toe off, I believe, his teammate. Uh, is that Patty Pat ahead of him? Big Man. Big Man is coming to the line. Currently 10th, let we'll see if he improves in this time. Crossing the checkup. 7. Seven. Yeah, Patty Pat giving um, Luke a very, very nice toe there. He comes around the final corner now. Uh, he's going to cross the line and he puts it only ninth fastest, even with that toe. So five, just under five and a half minutes of qualifying left. But even 18 of you currently watching, uh, thank you for choosing us to tune into this evening. I hope you're all well. If you're new to the chat, please do drop a, a comment in the chat. And if you are new as well, if you haven't hit that follow button, smash it for me. And uh, how you doing, crew? Uh, smash it for me and help join. Prospects train. Share this junk. Put it on your Facebook. Put it on your TikTok. Put it on your Twitter. Put it on your Instagram. I, I don't care. Send it to your classmates. Post it in the halls. Hang posters on streets. Do something. Let's go. I'm bored. Still with Luke here. I'm checking out. Still got two guys that not set times. Folksy and Dylan. Oh, They're both out maps now, which is nice to see. Finally. Actually, Dylan's coming to start his lap. Fox is going through sector two now. Uh, still in the 
running here. He's crossing. Don will just stay where he's at. Boy, we're going to have another week uh, of somebody busting <laughs> early. That is uh, Dylan dropping it coming out of turn one. So that's his first lap already over. Oh, and uh, Foxy into the barriers. Back, but we're gonna have some extra time as long as the uh, arms, you know, what we call it. Big fans of that. And we've got Con Boyer quietly third. We haven't said anything about him in the first. Uh, Patty Pat, Ford, Jonesy, Bevo, Welby, Big Man, Shannon Mack, and Luke. Top 10. Paris still on pull, even though he has wrecked out. He's now. Sam Brooks. When Sam gonna step back up as he comes back up for his out lap. This is where things are gonna get spicy dicey. They want the Haas coming across here, but that would be uh get Foxy starting the position lap now. Work behind him is that oh, oh, Foxy. Foxy round at turn one as well. It just seems like these drivers just cannot handle turn one at the moment. There's a lot of drivers dropping it. I think that's about the fourth one I've seen drop it at turn one tonight alone. So you're saying we're going to get a safety car immediately? Mm -hmm. Hmm. The Blues here, we've got is that Guelphie or Khan? There's Khan again, is he going to put any take this bowl? Finally, Ben checkered at line, he's still safe. So, so Dylan's going to start his lap again now. He's uh, a 141.2 at the moment, he did spin at turn one. He's kept it on the track this time now, though, so we've learned from his uh, previous lap mistake. Shane, Shane's in the pits at the moment, so yeah, Luke's coming out. Leclerc down there is 17th, he's on an out lap at the moment as well. A guitar man can't on a lap. He has there, we got the pits. Is that, is that Pigman? No, no, it's not. That is... That's what Bear's out lap. We got a Ferrari. Only one right now. It's Sam Brooks. Let's see, well, this is Sam Brooks' out lap. So it's two minute warning time. What, what do, you, do you think is going to stick the way it is? Or are we going to get an improvement on that 298? Because nobody's come close yet to beating that. Yeah, hopefully there's going to be a bit of a challenge at the end of the at the end of the stream. Foxy retiring from the session, um, not setting a time, so that so that may get looked at. Um, bear in mind the uh, new the new rule that they've brought in regarding qualifying. Um, uh, so we've got the Quasar coming in, uh, crew there, Maundy. Uh, good evening, Owen. Sorry for just catching up on chat now. I'm just catching up on it now. Um, yeah, out too. Yeah, and here comes Dylan though. Dylan coming around the final corner sets a time of uh, 131.8. Uh, 131.0, sorry. Uh, into 16. Yeah. Uh, Guitar Man Carl on a lap. David in on an out lap. I think we're coming to the uh, final. Oh, yeah, it's going to be the final runs now, won't it? Um, too many TT setups. Crew, yeah, I completely agree with it. I thought like that. Um, take note of turn 3 and 4. Uh, I was just about to say, I hope T3 is paying attention. Yeah, it's, uh, there's a lot of drivers that do uh, get caught out by sector one in particular. I don't know if you, you yourself. Um, ah, tier three and four. Okay, fine. Yeah, okay, tier, tier three and four. Yeah. So I'm, I'm tired. Comes, here comes Sam Brooks to the line. I think we're going to get a run here of final runs. Sam Brooks does not improve. Looks like he will start well. Well, he's got one more lap. But and uh, that is Guitar Man Khan invalidating there once again. Again on this lap, but uh, David on his lap at the moment. Big Man has won his final, but it's still no, it's not Big Man, it's the player. And it's come up, he's in a he'll start his final. So we get our final run here. Time has expired. I don't know if Big Man, you know, he's locked in, he could not cross the line in time. Con's in the pit, so he'll be locked in, he'll be locked in because time's in. You're gonna look out for player. Boyer, Pat, Jonesy, and Bevo. Bevo, speaking of that, one takes the pole. 127.386 by over a second. Yeah, that is crazy, a 127.3. That is mental time. What a time from him. Uh, we are on David Boyer at the minute. We didn't actually catch that, but we are on board with David as he goes...
down into uh, towards stone. Turn. You can technically well, go flat out and you gotta hit the pick this right through here. Make sure you come out good so you can get traction across the line. I don't think he's gonna improve. He's done an eighth now. A bunch of people snuck in. Coconut snuck in. Guelphy snuck in. Luke snuck he in. Has, yeah. Lock Pass third. Snuck What's Boyer? But uh, David oh, Boyer yeah. down to eight. Jonesy, last week's podium sitter. Uh, what can he do? Comes around the line now, takes P3. Third place here at 28 3. There's still no one able to even get come close uh, to Bevo's time there. Shane on a lap. Uh, he's coming through around the final couple of corners now. And he'll be the last one to cross the line, actually. Again, a front row lockout. That's an American here from Shane on back front row lockout. He actually he, uh, he backed out in the end there, I think. Uh, I said 127, like 9 or 8. Bevo is on tier one tier three at this point with that lap. It literally took him until the end, but brilliant to sneak in there. Let's see how well he pulls away up front. If you can get through with this clean air here, you get a good start, you're gone. Without any hiccups. So Bevo, Para, Jonesy, Pat, Luke, Khan, Coconuts, Wealthy, Boyer, Big Man. Wrap up the top ten. Then comes Shane, Viva. Timber, Sam, uh, X Coop, Chappers, Leclerc, Dylan, C Burton, and then Foxy and Splandy. Not set in time, Splandy, because he did come to the session rather late, so doesn't have to do a qualifying for the session. Ready. Hopefully, it stays dry. There's England. I can't remember the, wet, the, the last wet Silverstone race, can you? Uh, it hasn't been for some time actually because of the weather changing over here in the in the UK. It's been uh, it's been a little bit a little bit worse now, hasn't it? It's been well, it's been better now, hasn't it? Uh, I wouldn't know. I live in the South in America, and it's August, which is the worst time to live in the South. Yeah. So, but it has not been a brutal August, surprisingly. But it's only like <laughs> August eighth. So yeah. T typically. Um, Typically, the, uh, the Silverstone were usually Silverstone races were usually very, very wet. But uh, recent climate change, etc., has uh, has quickly changed all of that. I also want to mention on a separate note: you can watch us on ESTV. Uh, we got Gran Turismo Seven starting on Fridays, I believe, starting this Friday. That I will, should be a part of as well. Um, I'll probably get destroyed, but uh, it does start up. Uh, every day at whatever time they start at 5 Eastern. I think it's 10 BST. Here y'all, we got racing during the week. So, you know what to watch. Twitch now. I can't believe we can watch the uh, replays on YouTube, but we are live on Twitch. Are we starting? No formation? Uh, no. F at all? There's no formation left, no. Right, we're green. Screw so, it. Yeah, Let's we go. are Bravo. racing here in Silverstone. And uh, Bevo... Got a terrible getaway. Yeah, a terrible start, dude. I don't know what happened. He got way sideways. Teammate gets the front pair and takes it back over. Um, hey, let's go around! Um, no, hey, let's go around! Hold on. You were right about turn one, but that wasn't. That was turn one. That was turn one, but that was that looked like a break check. That. Why would you break check the teammate? That honestly looked like a, unless that was lag. That was a break check. Just Pera looked like there was a break check there on Bevo. That looks awful. That was, they both went around. Luke is in the lead. They don't have damage though, so they're going to keep it going. Chaps, see, what, what's your opinion on that? I mean, in my opinion, that looked like that was like, either that was either lag or a break check. What do you guys think? I mean, we, we were on board with it. Um, and if that wasn't lag, then that's, then that's not, that wasn't the best of, uh, that was that was almost like a Ferrari strap. Yeah, uh, Benotto can't handle the pressure of a championship, so he's taking on purpose. Luke off to such a clean start here. The new, new and David Luke, up into boy. second place. And run of course, David. He lasted more than a, than a corner this week. Just Perra coming back at Dylan, ran it outside into Stowe. and. Uh, 
Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry for my silence there. That was I was kind of holding my breath there because just Pera came into the uh, last few corners there at quite a pace, and he's got past Gilfie there. But Gilfie's going to be going for a move around the outside. He's trying to, but they're oh, going too wide into turn one. That never ends well. But this time we did, thank God. There is some big pack back there. Ah, we got somebody going around. Dylan is going around. I think we're just going to go yellow. And we move for reduced safety cars. So. Didn't see the uh, debacle we had last week. Luke again running away with this so far. Kind of got a gift. Let's see if Bevo and Perry can make up in more ways than one uh, this race. And Brooks up to six. Chain Mac up to eight. With us. Okay. Uh, well, Luke here is still in the lead. We see Shano back now falling. That one also fell. Yeah, I think we're having issues. Yeah, we've got a. I thought we had a safety car by the, the rate that these guys are driving there, but they haven't. Um, so I'm, I'm really not sure what's going on at the moment. So like my um, PC was just being a bit. Funny just said, sorry. Um, Dylan's round again coming out of uh, yeah, um, Khan's round. Yeah, because Harman Khan rounds. Um, that was just before the pit lane, yeah, sorry. Um, just monitoring something, but it looks okay now. Um, I know, it's right now Luke is loving all this. So yeah, I mean, yeah, these guys all have been happy here, they're just, it's just allowing them to move away. But Foxy and Tim are getting very close uh, through turn one. Coconut's quietly into second, got around Boyer as well. He has made his way up. Uh, Perez round. Perez round um, at turn three. Perez looks like one of the guys that can set a fast lap and he can get it around the track, but he's not really fitting too well. Uh, Dylan's today. out of the session. So Dylan's retired in the pits. Chappers and Shane into the pits, coming out of the pits now. And Shane's uh, Dylan's out of the session there. So he has already had enough. Also worth noting that uh, yeah, he was the same for that. Not no, no, no. Flanny did not qualify either for him, right? And we've Just got, got Foxy all over the there. back of Timber here as well. Timber and Foxy. Oh, Foxy had to lift going into Fox. But uh, Timber's gone off the track there. Could argue that he's kind of kept position by going off track. Will towards with Magazine Beckett. That is never going to never gonna go too wide through there unless you give each other plenty of room. And that door from Timber was always closing. Sam Brooks right. rounds. You know what, he was round and that far off the track, I didn't even see where he was. Tire temperature is not going to issue with this one, the three lines into this, and it's so hard to just spin out randomly. Yeah. I'm getting taken out, they're just spinning out. Yeah, Bevo getting past Patty Pat, Patty Pat back into 10th place, but he's going to go for a move down the inside of Bevo as uh, we get the worst camera angle known to man. Oh, yes. Ah, and Bevo with the part. Bevo spins, yeah. Patty Pat drives into him, spins the car himself. And uh, that is a, that's Patty Pat right. just being a, a, a passenger there. There's absolutely nothing he could do to avoid that. And uh, I don't think there's there's no visible damage. Whether he's got uh, invisible damage, that is another thing. But he's just doing some nice donuts for us on camera here. Um, don't recall Patty Pat winning the championship yet, so uh, I don't know why he's doing donuts. Meanwhile, Luke in the lead by 0.6. Coconuts is closing. Coconuts has shown some serious pace, isn't he? I mean, he's yeah, got past yeah. David and cleared him by three and a half seconds already. As he runs down. Or Luke had like a second and a half lead. That's what I mean. He's closed at a rate of knots. Um, Zippy, uh, sorry, I think it was Quasar coming into the chat just after the qualifying saying uh, 27.3. That would have been P uh, P2 in Tier 1 last night. I mentioned here two times to put him in the snag and he's capable. So right now we see the battle for the lead. Actually, you see putting in a three second time penalty. So DRS is enabled, so we're not going to see that until obviously the uh, hangers, uh, the Wellington Strait, sorry. Uh, we're going to see the first spout of uh, DRS down the Wellington Strait. Unless a safety oh. car comes out for that spin, and that spin is Patty Pat. Patty Pat's tires do seem a bit cooked. But here comes Just Coconuts, two tenths behind Luke. Now he's going to be patient. There's no need to make the moves here. He's going to get DRS in a minute. It's all about being patient to take him down. 
into Luffield's, I believe it is. So he got back there. I kind of didn't think he would, but he did. He's playing it smart. He's confident. Yeah, he doesn't, he's got he doesn't the pace. need to make the move just yet. I mean, he's got the, he's, as you said, he's got the pace to definitely get past um, Luke here. How you doing, Chaos? It's your man, oh, Curse of Zippo here. How you doing? Up, so I guess Dogness is going to wait until that bag starts, but here he is on the outside. A little bit of a little bit of defense the there from Luke. It's all ready to do, but a little bit of separation there from Luke, but Dogness I think is just playing with him at this point. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, no cursing, please. Uh, Curse of Zippo follows me everywhere I go, my man. Uh, here we go. DRS is going to be active once more. Uh, he's going to go for the move this time. And here we go. That is the move. He pulls out to the left. He's going to go the long way round, and he gets the move done. There is no fight in there from Luke. He can't. He can't defend that. And that is uh, taking us into the leader of the Grand Prix. Next up, David Bowyer and Pigman Man, and then we've got Jonesy right on his gearbox as well, We're looking for a move going around the inside. And we've got Spinner, and that is uh, Pat Pat once again. It's strange here, Border keeps losing time. Pigman got around and then you can see how much he's been held up. Five seconds on loop. Uh, Border just losing time on those mediums. It's also worth knowing that Jonesy is hard. But he's going to go for the duration for a while. Um, and you can't depend on the safety cars. Just, I don't think it's going to happen. So we're going to have more of a race today where you're going to have to play into strategy to actually go to the end as compared to hoping for something to happen. Absolutely. So we've got a spinner there. I think that's Sam Brooks, actually. Yeah, it is Sam Brooks. And uh, interesting noting that Bevo is now down in uh, P15. Landy got around 10, but Landy again started last. Now to 8th. As much as Coconuts has got a pace and confidence leading the race, Landy has made up all positions. Yeah, he has made up 12 positions. He was, uh, he was last, wasn't he? Yeah. Ferrari power. Maybe they'll have him fit for no reason. Wolksy up next on Splendy's checklist in the hall. Oh, pick my man's round. He's had a big off at Maggots. Uh, Beckett, sorry, he's had a big off at Beckett's. That is a big off, and he's rejoined the track, and uh, thankfully he was ghosting because Guitar Man can't drove straight through him. And Shane's out of the session. That is in the pits. Um, as uh, Patty Pat's into the pits once again for a. Uh, Ah, I don't know what's happening with Patty Pat, but he's uh, into the pits, already on the hard tyres, but he's going to go for a different. He's going to go for a different. Uh, Something's definitely not right with Boyer. I don't know if he's got damage or what, but Jones has managed to get around him as well. Guelphie's coming now, so Boyer's continuing. He's, he didn't lose a position, but he did because Big Man spun, but Jones got around him, so Boyer's fourth. Blandy now sixth. Got around Folksy after all that. Look at this line of three cars from six, seven, eight. Air is right there, too. I hope all's Trust okay, Owen. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I will do, mate. No worries, man. I hope you're okay. I hope everything's all right. Um, yeah, I've looked at David's car. I can't see any, like, visible damage, but it could have, like, you know that invisible damage that you just can't see? Um, and then... Uh, Either that or he's got rear wing damage, but I don't recall him spinning at all, so to pick up any rear wing damage. You can kind of see he's losing time to Guelphy now. Um, Landy's coming as well. 2.1 seconds separates. Sixth and fifth. Folksy trying to get that position back, but he's got to be le leery of Terra. So I'm just, just wondering, you know. Thinking about it. Oh, okay, I hope uh, it was okay, Shane. Um, I'm just wondering, is this going to rain near the end of the race? Is David dark clouds. Is David running a wet weather setup to accommodate for the finishing part of the race? Does he feel that if he runs a wet weather race uh, setup, sorry, I've still yet to see a race transition to rain or away from rain, even when playing this game. Oh, really? So. I, I have not seen it yet. I have not seen it doing these. I have yeah, not apologies. seen it when I'm playing the game. And I've gone halfway through the season of my team, and it has not happened yet. I've not done Grand Prix. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Shane's Maybe it's session. just me. Uh, Gilfie's getting very close to David now. So, yeah, I, I'm wondering whether that's what David's doing. 
whether he's whether he's seen that there's going to be rain and he's running a wet weather setup to accommodate for the rain coming later on. Finally, has chopped down that time in half. Yeah, the flags that's nice. packed pack round once again at the final corner. He is not having a very good race, is he? Maybe he's on the one set up too. Okay. I'm hoping for something that's not there. Uh, Foxy with a three second time penalty. Uh, next up, we've got to Guitar Man Khan. He is fighting on, uh, Brooks on is with out. McClure at the moment. Yeah, Sam Brooks out. That's in the, that's in the pits as well, so we're not going to get anything for that. But uh, Guitar Man Khan against the Clur going very close. Guilfi closing and passing on David Bowyer there. So he is up to fourth place. And here comes Guitar Man Khan. He's going down the inside into Stowe. And uh, he should get that position. The Clur being a hangout to draw on the outside there. Uh, but he's not giving up the position. He is coming back at him down the inside. There's contact, and uh, the Clerk is almost round. To be fair, though, I mean, the Clerk was all over the curb there. I don't think that was really his position to be going for. I think that door was always going to be closing there, but uh, we don't really commentate at night. Just Perra coming up on the back of Foxy now, going through turn three and four. Uh, that is the uh, retired car of Sam. Sam's teammate's planning now, still trying to make this move on Boyer, which he should eventually get around. Probably be... I'm going to do it here without any assistance. Planning's pace is really good. Boyer's pace is arguably the worst in the circuit right now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just Perra getting on the back of Foxy. This is for P7. And uh, just coconuts now, three seconds into the lead of this Grand Prix. Lap 9 of 26. Um, and uh, we're still yet to see a safety car. Okay. There we go. Started second. Our, just to recap, we started literally turn one, both of our uh, top two people who are teammates. One out. We go back. We took over the lead. Coconuts made a march to the front. And we had a lot of spin outs. Coconuts took the lead. Seeing the cream of the crop start to rise towards the front of the leaderboard as we have hit lap 10. Not even halfway yet, but we will see pit stops again, no safety cars. Work out on that one. And here goes Splandy down the inside. <laughs> David almost cutting across the front of his wing there. Um, Splandy went for the move into turn three mm. on David, but. Uh, David plays the ball and uh, stays, lives to fight another corner. DRS now available to Splandy, and he is using DRS and emptying some of his battery out. He goes down inside into five and round into Luffield. And David holding that inside line, he is really making Splandy fight for this position. Who is going to get a better exit? That is the question, and I think it's going to be David. Yes, it is. David gets the better exit. Are they going to. Oh, okay. They're going to think better of it. Defense like the line. Absolutely, yeah. The, David defended very well, so it definitely isn't damage on, the, on this Mercedes. I just wonder whether it's whether it was a wet weather setup. I'm not sure. No one in the chat has said what the, what the weather's doing, so obviously we're a bit completely blind to what's happening. But DRS once again has David is a good defender this time. Spandy goes past, literally fires past him there, and David down into P6, and he's got Foxy up next. But just Perrot is going from move on Foxy into Stowe. Uh, himself, so Foxy trying to attack David is now having to defend from uh, Perro as well. Yeah, Foxy's been actually much forward to fight off an extremely slow car. Foxy has actually done a really brilliant job of fighting off Perro for the past couple laps. But the uh, Boyer is pitting. No, he spun out. Boyer finally gave his spin a Rooney. So he will yeah, tumble that. down the leader. Bo gets Splendy into fifth. Foxy sixth. Perro back to seventh. Bevo not making up any time our current our pole setter. It just passed Leclerc, but he's in pits. So Bevo back to 13. Just tried to undercut in the pits. Is that going to be his strategy at this point? Hold back. Undercut. Uh, who's this? Sorry. Bevo. Maybe. I mean. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be. Uh, he's not really pushing too hard, is he? No. 
Coconuts out to a 3.6 second lead. Uh, top four are kind of spaced out pretty well. Splandy's coming for Guelphie, though. I think it'll only be a matter of time for Splandy to hit second. But we will probably start seeing pit stops with these mediums in the next three laps. Uh, yeah, you'd like to think that the mediums are going to start giving up very soon. Those are those on the hards, like Jonesy, for an example. Um, he he's in a very good position on these on these hard tires. Uh, C Burton as well in twelfth. I think you're going to see him picking up quite a few uh, pit, uh, places in the pits. And here comes uh, Just Perra, Gilfi, and. Uh, Chappers is out. That's in the pit lane. Uh, Chappers retired from the session. So we've got three cars in at the moment uh, of Luke, Gilfie and Just Perra. As uh, Jonesy now goes through into second place. Uh, six and a half seconds behind Coconuts. Uh, to be fair, Coconuts has been in a league of his own this evening, hasn't he? Has not. It's safe to say the Bilbo's not going to be undercut. He's going to be overcut, I guess, because he's going to stay out. Yeah, he's going to gain a few positions on those 11 lap old. Uh, medium tires. Well, he's got the capabilities to make him last. I wonder if he's going to go on the same strategy as whether the leader's going on, so he might put the coconuts pits now. But right now, Splandy is inherited third, so we're going to see strategies kind of slip up a little bit here. Um, same with Khan, but Splandy, who can be eyeing victory in this race, well, they'll all pit at the same time. They're all waiting on coconuts to pit, and that's when they'll pit. Jonesy on the hards. Yeah, he's definitely in a predicament um, with Burton. If they got a safety car for some reason right here, it would definitely work to Jonesy's um, advantage, but yeah. I don't think the mediums would last that long. I don't know, the mediums, the, the hot light, so coconuts pits, um, the hards are a very, very yeah, good. Pit. The hearts are a very good tire in this game, and I do strongly believe that uh, the safety Splandy. car now really would, uh, would really benefit here. But Splandy going through and staying out for a bit longer. Um, Same with Bevo. Bevo he's had a out. solid race tonight, hasn't he, Splandy? He's driving the day, no doubt about it. So, yeah, I don't need to qualify. I'm just going to finish last race. Uh, Just Coconut's coming out of the pits now. He's going to come out behind C. Burton. Uh, C Burton is going to continue through on those 12 level halves. Um, so he's gained a few positions on the halves as well. And this is what I meant. Um, the softs are a very good. Uh, oh, sorry, the halves are a very good tyre. We've got a spin up of Leclerc, I think that was. Uh, yeah, into the pits goes Leclerc. He's got a five second time penalty. Spinning in the pit lane, and he's had enough as well. That's where the car's going to be as well in the top five. Burn good. Where is the, uh, well, I guess if you're on the hard, you want to go out there as long as possible. I say you take this lap 18 and then the About five more laps if we don't have any issues. If we have an issue, it's going to work out to Jonesy's advantage, but that's actually going to work out to everybody's advantage, but you would be faster on those mediums down the stretch. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the meat, we, we, I think we, well, we saw it last week, didn't we, in, in back here, just how good hards are in comparison to the other two tyres. Um, I can't remember who it was, but one of the drivers last week, I think it was one of the podium drivers, was on the set of hards, wasn't it? And the other two on the, on the softs. And you just saw just how much of an advantage the hards had, even over those brand new softs. Splandy into the pits. Now, hang on. Never. Hang on. C Burton's coming through. Jones Just Coconut's out. coming through. I think Splandy's paid an absolute blinder here. Bevo. Bevo's back to ignite for some reason. Why has he had such a bad pit stop? I'm not sure, but I tell you what, he's back into the pits again, Bevo, I think. Um, Splandy is now net P3. Bevo's back at 12. Happen. Um, let's see the driver. Jonesy still leading Burton. Did he not change tires? Did, did we not just see Burton go to the pits? Am I imagining that? Uh, don't. No, Burton didn't pit. The two McLarens haven't pitted yet. 
they were both on hards. Um, just Coconuts is still the net leader. Luke is still second place, but Splandy has jumped everybody by staying out of those extra few laps and is now net P3. Yes, Granty has got Guilty right behind him and potentially he's going to be losing that position. Yes, he does. Splandy yields that position more than, than loses it. Um, but yes, yeah, Splandy now net P4. But he's shown some terrific pace this season as well, so I wouldn't want him out for potential podium for him in this race. Strategy is a good thing. Um, unless they think that they can, they're going to have, I mean, they've got a 24 second game. You're not going to get down to that fast and change tires. But when they do come out on, they'll be faster tires than they will be newer. So I would say, again, four more laps. Lap 18, maybe six. They might push and go lap 20. What if, what if, they go lap 20 and go to song? It's definitely doable and the hearts are definitely, um, the hearts are definitely capable of going to lap 20, 100%. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a risk, isn't it? Because it could also very quickly backfire um, if a safety car comes up very late and then, Everybody else, it's, it's, they've lost their advantage, haven't they? Then? Yeah, but we've already seen it. Yeah, that's, that's the that's really good thing. thing. Yeah, so, so that's like I know something we don't. Um, I don't think it's going to rain. I just look cloud cover, I think that's not changing. So. And the battle here, Coconuts is actually saying screw it, getting around Burton on pressure hard, but they're not really at the top yet. They get around that, so it's going to be up to Jonesy. 24 second advantage for Jonesy. Question is, if you're going to go to medium, I would get him down. Honestly. Looking at his fastest lap, 1.30.972, but yeah, if you Say that again. I guess we lost the ball and came back. Anyways, uh, what I was saying is, if you're going to go to mediums, mm -hmm. you know he's going to go to mediums. You need to pin that. Uh, so yes. You're just, you're just losing time. time. If he's yeah. going to go to solves, then you hold off. Yeah, I mean, Coconuts is the, the mediums are a good tire now. I mean, Jonesy, to, to kind of save this lead, he's going to lose more than, the, than he's got in the... Uh, Jonesy needs to pit now, if he, as you've just said, if he's going to the mediums. Coconax is going 23 and a half, so he's, he's going to lose position in a pit stop anyway, because obviously the amount of time to leave. He chooses to stay out though, so... Uh, I reckon he's going to go to softs at the end. And it's plenty also eyeing Welcome now. Uh, lost a little bit of time, he's going to put his DRS up in his back straight. The Wellington straight, I guess it is. So, I don't know. He's going to have some clothes in there. I guess he's not going to have enough time to get close enough. Grabs it to the corner, not there. So, Splendid was not able to make that move. Yeah. Oh! Did you see Splendy just then? Almost. i tell you what that was. That was almost. <laughs> that was almost a repeat of Vettel against Max. There is kind of right behind him. Well, if he got a little bit more separation there, it's up over a second now. That was enough, I guess, Landy uh, had a hiccup. Um, everybody else seems to be kind of spread out. I don't know what Bevo did. Bevo's now on soft. I think he's just trying to get the back to flat. Talk about too much with race. He always seems to, that just seems to be what happens. Comes in, sets a monster lap in quality and quality. His teammate is up in seven. Again, to recap, the race started with those two up front and they took each other out. In the yeah, we're, we're still unsure what actually happened between those two, though. We're not sure if it was like a lag or or cold tires and he's just he felt the car going so he snapped the brake or or what it is. I'm not sure, but uh, it definitely wasn't 
in their team plan, that's for sure. Uh, Splandy in the back of Guilty again, though. The only thing must be on the house. That's the only thing that's possible. He can make these hearts go left. See Burton one. hits. He's going to go for eight laps on the softs, isn't he, See Burton? That ain't going to work. He might be guinea pig in this. See how it works. Yeah, I can imagine they would be in a party chat, wouldn't they? And he has gone softs. Because, what? yeah, what, you, what he can do is he's got enough laps, but like, hey, these things are falling off by lap 21 when we want to pit. He'll have an idea of where they're at. Yeah, and then so. he can, Josie can do whatever he needs to do to counteract that and uh, make sure that he doesn't have the same issues as his teammate. Uh, talking of uh, crashes, we've got a uh, David Boyer round at the uh, final corner, so he's he's dropped the rear. Splandy really coming at Guilty now. That DRS has closed him right up to the back of Guilty. Should be able to get him this lap. The real things are getting here pretty close. And if you nail the, uh, the corner sections down here before the final straight. Set yourself up nicely. Couldn't get him last lap, but I take away Fulci, Volker, uh, Guelphy. Guelphy has done some uh, good defending too. That guy's Fulci, but he's done some yeah. Right now it's Guelphy. Because we're eyeing the podium for Splandy if he did start last. Yeah, I, I, I still wouldn't rule Splandy out of the podium. I really wouldn't. Here he comes now. DRS is so powerful here in Britain. And that is Splandy blasting past Guelphy up into fourth place. He does have Luke. Let uh, Luke next. Uh, Patty Pat retired from the session. He's had enough down there in 15th place. Uh, he was already a lap down. I think he was almost about to be two laps down. And the 14 cars left. He was two laps and, down, uh, sorry. Sands of time here for Jones. He has, uh, Coconuts is making up some time, but not. Yeah, he's, he's not closing in massively, is he? But he'll, uh,. He'll definitely make up nice bad once he's doing the pits, but uh, right now, we're going to have to see how well Cliff is doing on the saws. and see what lap those things decide to fall off. They've definitely done some teammate stuff, so we have a ghost. ghost oh, C. Burton into the pits. They are not working for him, it seems. Uh, the soft tyres, and he's just picked up a five second penalty as well. Um, I kind of thought he's like kind of thrown his race away now, hasn't he? So good the team. Uh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, he, he went, he hit something. He lost the lane. So he's had a spin somewhere. So Jonesy now with six laps remaining, he continues on for another lap. No, I mean, he's going to have to pit. I wouldn't know if. I mean, even if you wreck, do you stick with it? You, uh, that whatever they planned just went down the drain. I think you just stick with the five laps. So lap twenty. So we, we we should expect to see Jonesy in this lap, shouldn't we, for his pit stop onto the soft tires? This is the next. I mean, if you pit too early in the softs, that last lap's not going to be good. But there is that happy medium. If you can get out back in front of coconuts on softs and put a couple laps, be good. Coconuts is going to have that durability and longevity and it's hard to just now get up the temperature. Yeah, he's starting to close. He's taken about a second out of uh, Jones' lead on this lap so far. Uh, he's coming round to box now, isn't he? As uh, Jones is approaching Stone. So about a quarter of the, uh, yeah, got about a quarter of the lap, haven't he, between them. And uh, Jones is into the pits. So this, see, I'm going to go on board with just coconuts uh, to see how this plays out. He is coming down uh, the hangar straight now. He has DRS because he was close enough to the driver ahead of him, which is actually Jonesy's teammate, C. Burton. Um, so how ironic is that? And uh, Jonesy is still only just... He's not even been serviced yet. He's still trundling down the pit lane. And here comes just coconuts coming around the penultimate, now into the final corner now. Yeah, they're pretty quick though. And there we go, that Dark is chain. just coconuts into the pits. Uh, sorry, for past um, Jonesy in the pits. 
Jones is just leaving that pit lane, and uh, if he's not if he's not careful, he's about to lose second place as well because here comes Luke and Jones is down to third place. Yes, he's on the softs, and uh, they are going to be very quick for the first couple of laps, but he's going to have to be careful and he needs to monitor these and uh, gauge this uh, this very very well. Uh, so sad to say, did he pit lap one? Um, I think. But uh, Jonesy closing in on Luke. Now he's got to be careful he doesn't burn these tyres out too quickly. He still needs to get to the end of the race on these and not throw anything away completely. Splandy though, Splandy's here in P4. Yellow flags, that's Timber. Splandy right behind, but ugh, I don't know that strategy worked out too well. That pit lane is just too long. Um, yeah, it's just too long. Yeah, you maybe should have played it earlier on mediums. I'm not sure, but bold strategy to try something different. I'm not sure. You're not going to make up uh, 11 seconds. In five laps. So I don't see it. No, I can't see it either. I'd say coconuts might not mess up. Somebody might, might not mess up in front of him. But coconuts have proven today he's been very consistent. And, uh, Jonesy, and he's not really, also not really gaining ground. Time's running out, so he's finding his game again in a second. Everybody else kind of spread out Timba, just trying to make a move to get back into ninth. And on the tail of the Bolsey. The Bolsey starts to pull away on that straight, coming out of that corner. Six tenths now for Jonesy, though. Yeah, Jonesy is second. definitely closing, isn't he? He's um, fired these softs up quite nicely, it seems. And uh, let's hope that it does work out for him. I think it may work out for him. I'd be surprised if we don't see him on the podium still. Um, Here's the difference is Luke is losing time to Coconut, so I don't know if Jonesy's really gaining time. I'm the leader. Is it Luke is just starting to fall off? I don't know why that was burnt and went way wide. Yeah, because it's 10 seconds now, Coconut's between Luke. So Luke is just losing time as compared to Jonesy, like gaining time on the leader. So we'll well, get jo second. Jonesy was 11 something seconds behind. He's now only 10.2, so he's definitely gaining time. Another day, 45. See here without the straight. He needs to get around him now. He's going to have a play for this one. He's got to get around him here. Nah. It just wasn't bold enough on the brakes. That is another spinner, and that is Timber round once again. Jones in Timber here. He should have enough coming off of this corner. Burton now out. Boy, things did not go right with him after that pit stop. Uh, no, they haven't gone right, have they? He's retired in the pits. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure what's happened. I'm really not sure what's happened. Um, yeah, he, he seems to be going right for him, and then that pit stop's just completely thrown his race away this evening. Uh, we're on lap 23 or 26, we've got four racing laps uh, to go, three as they cross the line. Uh, so, Drunk Pyro, how you doing, JD? Uh, Coconuts for, for the win, Jonesy P2, and uh, Splandy for P3, he reckons. Uh, but he then seems to think that Luke may get P3. Um, Oh, so you think that Jones is going to close in enough to get Luke? Hmm, interesting. I mean, Jones is there to get Luke if he just keeps him around. Yeah, he needs to make the move now, doesn't he? At the end of this straight, he has to be ahead. He has to be ahead into Stoke. And even then, it's still a big, a big ask to make 10 seconds up. He's not going to have He's much closer this time, though. He could have done with being this close to the previous lap. But Luke is not giving that up easy, but he did smuggle in behind him. He could have done with this move the previous lap. Yeah, he, I think he's left himself way too much to do now. Been stuck behind uh, Luke for that extra lap. Has not done his tyres any good. And uh, just coconuts going through turn two into turn three now. See Burton leaving the session, and uh, Bevo has actually spun round. Um, them stops starting to die already. Yeah, eight laps. So more dead. Might be on metal. And that is uh, Pigman Man. Uh, he's had a spin as well, coming out of Stoke. Still no safety cars, so that's uh, 
Yeah, that's good. I'm not sure if it's been turned off or if it's just been put to reduced. I believe it's been put to reduced, but even with reduced, you figure something would happen at some point. Nine point eight, nine point nine. I mean, you have to make it. You see, while there's stuff happening, the coconuts isn't one to throw mess up. So, yeah, thirteen left in the race. Yeah, hard to pull it or to uh, a front row wreck each other on the first lap. Pulls yeah, that was. I still don't understand how that's happened. I mean, it'd be interesting to see. Uh, what the outcome of that is, and I'd, be, I'd love to be able to see that footage. I think it'd be rather interesting to see that footage. Bevo has retired from this session as well now. And, uh, so first is last, and last is fourth. Yeah. I'm point eight for Jonathan. He's just not going to Luke is not actually gone anywhere, but Splendy is also making ground on Luke. I think Splendy will get moved. That's retired too much. Yeah, I, I think I think um, Splendid's got the pace to get in as well. I mean, especially if Luke then starts fighting with Jonesy, what that's going to do is just going to allow Splendid to reel them both in. Larry works well as a team up into that pit, and Jonesy's like, oh, I don't need you anymore, just quit. Oh, yeah, Luke's got a time penalty as well now, hasn't he? Splendid's guaranteed yeah, people. It, it doesn't matter. How long is that penalty though for Luke? The Lopi is 5.1 behind. Is it 3 or 5 seconds? But, last lap shenanigans here. Yeah, who's it going to be? I mean, Spandy's going to want to try and get this done on track, isn't he? I don't think he's going to want the time penalty to turn into his position. I can see him wanting to get through. Clear here, but nothing. And you gotta wonder. Oh, that's gonna be an illegal overtake. That was off track. Yeah, there you go. Um, Luke's got really yeah, out of shape coming out of the exit there. Um, and Spandy had to take evasive action off the track and made the move, but uh, the game would have given him the illegal move. He's had to make uh, regain that position to Luke again. Well, keep an eye on Jonesy though, because, well, third point six point six this is it. Or wait, he's start last lap, just that far ahead. Jonesy might have a slip up here because these tires could be done, especially if he's been pushing it. Yeah, I tell you what, Luke is closing. That time is coming down. Does Pera gets a time penalty? It'd be interesting to see the speed difference um, and whether just just Luke's got a better traction on the exits than these than these softs. And Jonesy's time to coconuts is, go is going up, so yeah, this could be interesting come the final few corners. I'll tell you what will be very interesting, the fact that if Luke get, then gets DRS, because it's looking like he may end up getting DRS here. That'd be a little bit closer to making it stick. Those tires, especially going through here, he could have a mess up through this section. It's going to be interesting. We're going to stay on board with uh, Luke here. Uh, we're going to also keep an eye as uh, Just Coconuts is coming around Stone now. So he's only got a few more corners to go. He's not going to be close enough, is Luke. Uh, it doesn't really matter anyway. He'd still lose the position on track uh, because of the time penalty. But on board with Just Coconuts now as he comes around the final corner to take the checkered flag here in Silverstone for round three here in Prospect E Racing. Jonesy will take... Um, second place and then Splandy will take that third place away from Luke who does finish in P4. Guilty takes P5, Just Pera will come home to take P6. Maybe. Dependent on time values, yeah. Uh, Guitar Man Khan. Got around him. Yeah, it's Just oh, Pera yes. into seventh place. Foxy takes a X Coop. He's going to take ninth place. Uh, but x -Coop actually jumps Foxy, so Foxy jumps down to 9th, 10th now, but Pigmen Man jumps in, and uh, Timber will be the final, uh, sorry, Timber and David will be the final two drivers to cross the line in the map 11-12.
Oh, a lot better than Baku. Oh, much better than Baku. Just when the Baku has a front row, they can show the first corner. Plenty to remember the day, obviously, from last to third. Haas. Bumped to the podium, but one very happy with race uh, six, my first time reserving. Oh, so Luke was only reserving here tonight. Pretty brilliant run, made a name. You definitely had a good race tonight, man. Uh, do we want to do interviews again tonight? We can do. Yeah, of course. If you want to do interviews, I don't mind doing interviews. Right. Yeah, we got our top ten: Coconuts, Jonesy, Splandy, Luke, Guelphie, Guitar Man, Con, Para, Coop, Big Man, Man, and Folksy. Get points. And twelve people finish. Bevo with the fastest lap, and he bowed out. Uh, yeah, so there we go then guys, that is your race over and done with. We are going to do some uh, podium interviews now uh, with the top three of course. Um, so we've got Jonesy, hopefully Coconuts will join and uh, Splandy if possible. So let's see if they all join. Uh, I'll meet you over there mate and we'll see you in there in a second. Oh, yeah. Hello, hello. Hello, my man. How are you doing? I'm great, man. I'm great. Very great after the race. <laughs> Absolutely. Just bear with us two seconds, mate. We're going to see who else joins. Yeah, um, no worries. Here's Jonesy. Just going. Just waiting for Splandy to see if Splandy wants to join as well, and he does. How about that? So we're going to start off with just coconuts. <laughs> Uh, wow, this, well, I think that's the first word I can say. That was a definitely a very dominating race for you. Um, some serious pace there. I mean, one minute you were like two seconds behind the leader, then the next minute you're on his gearbox. I mean, would you say it was more more luck that the fact that the two Alfa Romeos took each other out at, at, at turn one, or do you think that uh, you had the pace tonight to catch them anyway? It was a funny one because the start was very chaotic and I managed to squeeze through so I ended up in P3 immediately I think. Yeah. And I saw um, Luke, I saw him get away so I tried to hurry up into P2 and then I saw that he was a bit slower than me so after that I was just driving my own pace not using too much ERS for if someone was closing up. Yeah of course yeah. And yeah no one was closing up. I was a little bit worried about Jonesy, yeah. but as I had a 10 second gap-ish, I think, nice. I wasn't worried anymore because even if he went to the softs, if he closed up, then at the end his tires would have been dead anyway, so. Yeah, um, we're going we're gonna to actually just touch on that. Um, Splandy, we will come to you, um, but Jonesy, what was yours and Burton's game plan there? Uh, mine was, well it worked pretty well last week, so I thought, we'll go hards, I know you can take the hards for about 20 laps around here, uh, they do die off, it does get a bit slippy, but no safety cars, and just keep on the track, don't get penalties, mm -hmm. chuck the softs on for the last five, and a uh, little bit, yeah, some good pace for the last few laps, but then they died on lap 20 laps. Yeah, we did, we did notice that they died quite quickly, because, um, I can't remember who it was now. Uh, Luke. He he actually <laughs> the final lap he had a huge jump on you actually. 
Uh, it, with the final lap, I just thought, right, I'm, <laughs> I ain't winning, so I'm just going to crawl home. Like, yeah. The tyres were already on like 45%. Yeah, they die very five. quickly, don't they, the softs? So I just decided, yeah, we'll keep it, we'll keep it as it is. Yeah. And uh, we'll go from that. So we have Arcadian for Luke for Tier 2. Say that again, Trevor. Uh, we have advocating for Luke for tier two. He's a reserve, isn't he? Yeah, he was reserved tonight, but to be fair, he showed some he showed some brilliant pace for tier two. Yeah, he did well. Um, and Splandy, let, let's let's come to you. <laughs> driver of the day, according to the game, um, and in my opinion, driver of the day. Period. Um, last to P three, I think it was. Um, that was some drive you from you. You didn't qualify, right? Hold You didn't qualify, right, Splendy? Yeah, no, I was late. Well done to you, my friend. Well done. Thanks. Um, I mean, imagine if you had a qualify. I mean, you, you had the pace over the laps as well because you were you were consistently yeah. gaining. So, I mean, you in qualifying would have been quite... Uh, uh, probably top five in qualifying, I think. I mean, obviously, I don't know how it was one lap pace, uh, according to the rest of them. But uh, how did you find the race? The first few laps, just took it slowly to get the tires up, and then just started picking people off one by one. Ah, uh, well, just yeah, you were picking them off very quickly as well. It was. Uh, it was a night too, though, because if I had a qualified, I feel like I could have won. I think you would have. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you had the pace. I, I think no offense to coconuts. I mean, coconuts showed some some serious pace tonight. But uh, yeah, I thought you was a little bit. Oh no, because you actually jumped Jonesy at one stage, didn't you? In the pits, you jumped him. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, and he got back last. Yeah, it was literally a few corners later. Um, his tyres just had that one lap extra preparation over your brand new ones. Um, yeah. But you went two laps longer than the rest of them, and it did pay off for a few corners. Um, I guess you were hoping for a little bit more traffic. It's something. more just I thought that they might get traffic yeah, and their tyres yeah. might take longer to warm up. Yeah, I've got to say that the hards are definitely the hards are tire. amazing. They're the race the tires. Hards are oh, so yeah. good in this game. The hards are actually good in this game. Yeah. In the previous games, I actually never wanted to drive the hards no. because they were just too slidey. But for this game, the hards are last season amazing mediums, to start aren't they? Yeah, but you can even start on them because yeah, after a couple laps, yeah, they yeah. will get into their own. I noticed yeah. that with Jonesy as well because he was starting right ahead of me, but he had a lot of wheel spin, so I had to evade him. Mm -hmm. And I saw he was on the hard, so that's why I was pushing from the start. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there was some. The hards are a very good tire, and I think tonight was just another example of just how good the hards are. I mean, last week was very good as well. Uh, but in comparison to like the softs, they just can't compete. Sops cannot compete with anybody on the hards. But the first few laps they can, but with how quickly the softs, the softs are good if there is a safety car in the final six laps or something, then the softs are good. Yeah, other than that, they're just a qualifying tire, aren't they? Yep. But so uh, yeah, well, I'm not sure where we where are we next week, guys. Sorry, what did you say? Where, where are we next Canada. week? Is it Canada, Canada next week? Is it? Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, World of Champion. That will be something. <laughs> in no particular order. Uh, let's go to Jonesy first. How are you feeling for next week? What do you reckon? Uh, that's, a, <laughs> that's a good start. Uh, Splandy, how about you? I don't think I've done any laps there, so I don't know. <laughs> Look forward to that next week. And what about you, Coconuts? Um, I think a lot of people will damage their floors by hopping over the curb at the Wall of Champions. Yeah. So that, that will be something. And so yeah. setup's going to be key for next week then for ride height. Then. Even I just think that people uh, for the same with this race as well. Um, track limits and just staying within the lines because then you won't up over the curb either. Yeah, so it should be an interesting race next week um, for you guys. But obviously we're going to be live again tomorrow night for tier three on Thursday for tier 4 but thanks very much guys um, Feldman have you got any questions for him? Just unless somebody could see uh, what happens to the leaders at the start um, I'd be interested to get cleared up but otherwise just yeah, like, 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 I guess 
Thank you. Did you work out with your teammate how you were going to, that tire strategy, and it just really just did not work at all for your teammate? I mean, we, this is the first week we've not been in a party chat together. I mean, it got to the race, and he didn't, he didn't, yeah, he didn't join the party at all. Uh, so then I just sort of jumped in with Shane and a few others. Yeah, because we were actually saying in chat. Spun. When he, yeah. he pitted, I think, one or two laps before you, and he came out decently, but I think he spun and had to pit again. Yeah, he spun and lost his front wing. Yeah. Um, and, it, and it just bad went from bad to worse after that. Yeah, he gave me DRS for a lap or two as well. Yeah, <laughs> which actually helped his overtake on you, Jonesy. I know, I know. I saw <laughs> I, I, I was just thinking, just slow down. Please. You're not getting points. Slow down. Don't give him DRS. <laughs> I was like, please stay there. <laughs> oh, just yeah, Burton, see Burton, he does have pace. He is a quick yeah. driver. Yeah. But uh, he just unfortunately didn't have a good one today. Yeah, it's unfortunate. But, uh, well, it, it's, it's annoying because I matched pace with you for a while. And then. Me? I, I, yeah, because I tried. Yeah. Well, yeah, because I was consistently. When you were on the more dominant tyre at the beginning. I was the, the pace was matching, yeah. but I had traffic and yep. I just couldn't get through. And then your lead was just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then it's not the bad that you were fighting, so I just kept on pushing and actually destroyed my time <laughs> really badly. Yeah, your in lap, you were very quick on your in lap. Yeah, I burned all my ERS in that lap as well because I didn't use any in the laps where I didn't need to because you were battling, so I had 70% of ERS on my in lap. Can't wait to see what this does to the table. It's gonna be close at the top. Yeah, I think these are my be... first points, so I didn't score any points in the previous races. Well, I've got yeah, my first race I had a stinker. Um, it sure was a shit show with the connection for me. And um, I think I came P2 last week, uh, nice. pending the well P3 on track, but P2 after the um, decision uh, for the guy put me into the wall, almost taking my in Austria, I was in P2 uh, yeah. when the just safety car came out. And you then... guys. I'm, I'm gonna just let you guys carry on talking. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna leave here. I'm gonna wrap the stream up. And uh, thanks very much for uh, tuning in and uh, joining us for the podium interviews. Who knows? Maybe we'll meet each other again next week. But uh, great race for you three. Congrats on the podiums, and uh, we'll catch you guys next week. Thanks, bro. Right. See ya. <laughs> In Austria, I was on P2 when... But yeah, guys, that's that's it for this week. Um, thanks very much for tuning in, guys. Appreciate it. And uh, obviously, Feldman appreciates it as well. Uh, we'll be back again next week for Tier 2 at Canada. Tomorrow night, we've got Tier 3. Um, here in Silverstone and Tier 4 on Thursday night in Silverstone as well. But uh, hopefully you guys tune in to see those as well. But for now, guys, we're going to say good night. Thanks everyone for coming in. I uh, hope you enjoyed that race. A very good one with the no safety cars, as it's been uh, very, very well mentioned this evening. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. But for now, we'll catch you later. Good night.